All right. So what we're what we're doing here, it's the the format of the of this exercise is something that pretty much everyone in volleyball have done it at some point, a basic butterfly drill. Uh, but we're working this as a hitting warm up. Uh, the goal here is uh, plus thirty, so it needs to be a good attack. Uh, so a good strong attack. We kill the ball. Uh, it doesn't touch the tape, so they need to go and high point the ball on their attack. Uh, and some days we'll do this with a block, uh, or most days we'll do this with a block. Some days we'll do without. Some days we'll do it off a free ball, so it, it's faster. And then we put the the target higher. Uh, but basically, it is to try and work in all skills with some some measure of, of difficulty with the block in place this is where the focus on quality really starts to come in we have to execute consistently and there's really quick feedback for the guys if, if the attention is not good if our skill execution is not good the score doesn't progress so it takes a pretty basic concept uh, of hitting wall up you put a little bit of a score as the measure of quality uh, and then the guys get some feedback really instantly uh, or in a very short period of time about uh, what our quality is like. And for me, the key word there is usually attention. I'll talk about every action needs attention uh, or every action needs best attention. Um, so if the servers are not putting the ball where it's supposed to be, if the receivers are being lazy, uh, it all adds up. So it keeps everyone a little bit sharp, just like adding a, a score to what we're doing to have a, to have a target. Yeah, so if we target this 30 high quality spikes with the yep. criteria that you just mentioned, it's more or less like yeah, four four great spike in player. Yep. Yeah. If only that's up, yeah. Yeah. So and a block, a kill block will count as one because the someone's executed their skill properly. Okay. Errors minus one. Uh so for here it's also if the servers are not ready, if the receivers are not ready. It brings it to attention really clearly. So it allows some self-regulation uh, from the players on the court. In this situation, myself and uh, my coaching staff, we usually don't have to have too much input. Maybe it's some technical feedback for guys. Uh, maybe it's a broader reminder of what we're doing. But usually, other than keeping score, uh, this one runs itself. Yeah. Yeah, like we just mentioned, yeah, if you go minus, then of course it's way more than four high quality spikes. Yeah. Yep. So you never know what happens. Yeah.